Hi, you guys. Happy Sunday to you guys. This is Prophetess Afil Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you will absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls. To the gospel of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray, amen, 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 and amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old and in with the new. And let me jump off into it. And so, you guys, the time was actually 2.22 a.m. this morning, and the Holy Spirit began saying, out with the old and in with the new, that you have transitioned to a completely new level and a new way of life and that oil and water do not mix. So the life that you used to know has to be left behind. That there has been a reversal and your riches are unfolding and I hear the song, Silver and Gold. I would rather have Jesus than silver or gold. That new stories are untold. So out with what you are worth into your new birth and new chapters. New wine skins can't mix with the old. They will burst. That there has been an alignment with your flesh and your spirit and now you can walk more circumspectly, you can walk more in harmony, and you can walk more in peace. And the Holy Spirit gave me the scripture of Mark 2 and 22. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst and the skins and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. In order for the Lord to expand your horizons and expand you, he had to rid you of the old way of thinking. The Lord did not want you to have any losses, but he wants you to, wanted you to have total gain and total changes in every aspect and area of your life. All things completely fresh and a new and a new all things completely fresh and anew. Excuse that. So he cleansed, mold, polished, and shaped you and gave you a new garment. And he took away the old one. The Lord preserved you because you chose to serve him. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. That you have been reborn and that you have been renewed and that he has poured out his spirit in you. Because he abides on the inside of you and because you are his representative. You were created in his image and in his likeness and everything about him is a reflection that's oozing on the outside of you. The Lord had to take you through the fermentation process where you could enter into everything that he has for you. And the Lord is saying nothing less because you are of a greater value. So the Lord is saying no ruins and no waste because you are his representative and that is the very reflection of your new life that he so desperately wanted you to embrace and to have. Romans 12 and 2. And so he's taking you there. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. 
out with the old and in with the new. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming, the messages. I'm telling you, they keep me afloat and to keep me going to finish strong. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you guys for all that you do. Thank you so much for the super thanks. Thank you so much for sewing into this ministry. It does not go unnoticed. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers. You guys, welcome to the fam and welcome to the continuing ones, the returning ones that continue to keep coming back, holding me down. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you guys through to the greatness of success of God's best Pray that you are having a phenomenal Sunday evening by the special grace of God. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely feel a draft out there. The weather is certainly changing. The season is changing because the Lord is saying the old cannot mix with the new. So he has to clear everything out and clear out the clutter to bring you to another level like none other. No more less than, but greater than out with the old and in with the new. All things are fresh and all things are new. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and we will most certainly talk on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye.